Hi guys, David Connor here from the Inner 17s. Uh, I'd just like to start off by thanking all the players and all the parents for all their hard work and effort during the year. I'd also like to thank the new coaches that came on board with us this year, Connor and Eugene, with great help to us throughout the year. And I'd also like to thank the club and all the officials for all their hard work during the year. We were finally having a good year for once this year. We were in our Midland League final and we were topping our table and heading for a league division final when it all came to such an abrupt end. Uh, it's very disappointing for the lads. They've been fighting very hard for the last few seasons to try and get some silverware and they were determined to get some this year and we were heading in the right direction, but what can you say? Anyway, we'll move on to the awards. Uh, starting with Team of the Year. Uh, guy to start was a couple of years ago. Got involved very quickly with the whole team. Everyone liked him. Uh, great crack. Always up for a bit of mischief at training and even during the game sometimes. Uh, he's always a great boost when he arrives. Everyone likes to see him coming. Uh, really nice guy as well. So our teammate of the year this year is Evan Johnson. Uh, moving on to our most improved this year. Again, another guy that's only with us a couple of years. Uh, he arrived last year with a bang, I must say. Uh, he made the Midland squad last year, retained his position this year, even got up for Leinster trials. So he was having a really good season all this year as well until again it came to an end, uh, but really did well. So our most improved this year is Keen Lee. Uh, finally, moving on to player of the year. Uh, this guy came to me at the start of the season. He's been with us a long time. And he just said, Davey, we need some silverware this year. we got to win something. I want to win something before I finish. Anyway, he, in fairness to him, kind of drove the team on through the whole year. He gave 100% at all training sessions and at all games. And he really drove on during the games. And he really wanted to win something this season. He got us going in the right direction, I must say. But unfortunately, it didn't work out at the end. Uh, so I'm really delighted to give our player of the year this year to Mr. Pete Reynolds. Unfortunately, Pete will probably be one of the lads that we may not see next year as he'll be moving on to Pastures Greener. Hopefully, if the Leaving Cert works out for all you guys. Uh, very unfortunate, we don't even get to say goodbye to you properly at the end of the season. But anyway, hopefully you'll drop out to us next year and we can say our goodbyes then. Okay, guys, cheers. Hope you all mind yourself. And I better thank our captain, Cahill Ball, or he'll kill me. Okay, cheers, guys. Bye. Hi there, uh, and welcome to the other 18 boys section of the uh, awards. Uh, thanks to COVID-19, I've had to escape to my daughter's bedroom to find a quiet room to record this. Uh, so, uh, hello to everybody. Um, the under 18 boys season was... Um, I suppose a little, a little bit like our under seventeen season last year. It never really took off in terms of a league campaign, and um, uh, it looked like it was starting to come together as we were heading towards the cup competition. Uh, but unfortunately, this year it was it was shelved. But um, look, I still still enjoyed the season. I uh, still enjoyed working with uh, this group of players. We've been involved with a good few of them since they were under fifteen, and uh, now that a few of them have grown out of their moody teenage years, they're actually a bit of crack. So uh, I really enjoyed it. And I suppose um, we, we did lose a few along the way, um, but we, we gained a few as well. Um, Rian Conroy and Lee Ryan, I think, are two of them that jumped to mind. And, and they're the good lads. Enjoyed working with them. And this year we had uh, the 2001 babies as well joined us um, for the squad. Uh, Connell Fagan, Paddy Doran, Matthew Lorham. Keen Cleary and uh, David Devine as well who took up rugby for the first time this year just shortly before Christmas so it's, I, I enjoyed the year anyways and even though we didn't have any kind of major success on the pitches in terms of trophies uh, we still had some I suppose individual success uh, it's still worthwhile um, Adam Trainer, Connor Gibney and Fiona Harrow all represented Leinster in the Interprovincial Series last August, uh, which was uh, a wonderful achievement. And then Connor and Fiona also went on to represent Ireland just before Christmas, or maybe it was October, uh, against Italy as well, which is a wonderful achievement to represent your country. And uh, a bit closer to home as well, we had some of the players uh, step up to play for the senior team so Matthew Lorham was kind of consistent all, all throughout the season for the seconds and was, was very good um, for the seconds one, one of the better players um, and David Devine who only started playing rugby this year as well it was it stepped up a couple of games to play seconds rugby and looked really really good and Adam Trainer just played one game just before the, the shutter came down in the season as well but 
probably the, the the biggest success in terms of stepping up to the senior team was Keen Cleary, who his very first game for the senior team won his first senior medal. Uh, he won a, a Midland League uh, medal against Longford over in Burr just before Christmas as well and played for the senior team plenty of times after that as well and showed he was well able to play at that level. So even though there was no, no trophies this season, it was um, it was worthwhile um, uh, and there was some success there. So I suppose moving on to the actual awards section of the, the season, um, we have our... Um, most improved player of the year, um, a guy who came back to us at under 16 level after having been missing for a few years and uh, he seems to get better and better every year and he's gotten better again this year as well. He's really starting to grow grow into himself and uh, get a bit of confidence as well and he, he's throwing his weight around so he, he, I'm sure there's more in him as well. I think he's going to get better and better as well. So this year's most improved player of the year is Oshin Burke. So well done Oshin, congratulations. And um, then now we move on to our teammate of the year as well. Uh, it's another player who I've been working with for the past uh, four years. Someone I, I've always enjoyed working with as well. He uh, has a team at, at heart and um, he never he never lets you down as well. So uh, he kind of works hard at his game as well. And another player who's improving. I think we're going to see more of him in the years to come as well. He's going to be a standout for our, our senior teams as well. So this year's teammate of the year, uh, Fintan Larkin. Well done, Fintan. Congratulations. Uh, coming to the player of the year, um, the three nominees for this, and any of them would be very worthy winners. Um, first nominee was Liam Shaw, who's a loose head prop in the type of Keen Keen Healy. A uh, very dynamic player. I've seen him knock two or three guys over who were trying to tackle him and, and sprint 60 or 70 metre up the pitch. pitch. So uh, a very formidable player for the front row and, and this definitely fast as well. I, I think, again, another player with huge potential to keep improving as he gets older as well. Um, second nominee was Dylan Daly um, Dylan has kind of moved more firmly into the front row as well as a hooker and he took on more of the line of throwing responsibility this year as well and got better and better at that as well and he still had the usual bits to his game as well which make him a very good player he, his tackling is always very committed and not afraid to put his body in the line and his ball carrying as well he's, he's able to make extra yards when he probably shouldn't be able to as well both of those players will be very worthy winners of player of the year However, this year's Player of the Year is voted for by the players uh, and, and a, a, someone that I admire a lot as well, Connor Gibney, uh, playing out in second centre or first centre, wherever he does. Again, uh, I, sometimes I feel sorry for the poor 17 or 18 year have to stand in front of him and try and tackle him. I definitely wouldn't uh, enjoy having to do that myself as well, uh, and as well as being physically imposing. He's also developed into a very fine leader uh, for the team over the past two years as well. Um, Bringing to mind the game down in Dennis Gorty just before Christmas as well. We were losing 31 0 at half time, and Connor had a few words to say at, at half time. And he went out and he backed it up then uh, at the start of the second half. He got two length of the field tries um, to get us on the way to get us back 31 all. And unfortunately, we didn't manage to get over the finish line and win the game. In fact, in fact we got caught with a sucker punch with a late, a late score to lose it. But I still think the game was, you know, in terms of showing a bit of commitment and team spirit, it, it was fantastic for the team. So congratulations to Connor, um, very worthy winner of that award. Um, just at this point, just uh, kind of getting close to wrapping it up, but just want to thank the players for the commitment during the season. I know it hasn't always been easy and, and numbers weren't great at training. So look, well done for sticking at it and uh, hopefully get to work with uh, a lot of you again in the future either under 18s or, or maybe in the senior setup and uh, I suppose also big thanks to the parents as well who are coming to the end of a long uh, uh, period of time driving players to and from training and this season was no different as well and, and there's uh, a lot of you there who put in a lot of time and a lot of mileage on the road so thanks very much for your commitment again this season and uh, I really appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you as well over, over the coming months and I hope everybody is keeping well okay thanks very much and talk to you soon bye bye Hi everybody, um, strange times we're having this year, uh, the season finished early and we can't have our awards night here in the clubhouse the way we normally would and celebrate together as a team and as a club, but uh, this is the best we can do, uh, so hopefully you get something out of it and I suppose the awards stand just the same no matter how you get them. Um, so I suppose the first thing I'd like to say is um, as a team we were greatly supported this year by the parents. You see when you travel to other clubs um, how well a team is supported and the kind of the refreshments you get after a game um, and I know when clubs came here we really put our best foot forward so uh, all of that was down to the parents. Uh, when anything was asked of them um, they were, there was 
always uh, an immediate answer of yes we can help which uh, as a coach is great you know you, you feel like you've got that support with you all the time and uh, I'd really like to thank the parents this year they were great with refreshments and they were great as supporters on the side of the pitch they really um, they did the club proud and did themselves proud and their kids proud so thanks very much to the parents the other person I'd like to thank is Fiona Faulkner she managed our team this year the under 18 girls she also managed the senior women which meant she was out in the clubhouse every Saturday every Sunday two nights a week training uh, she was constantly in the car driving um, and she was a great support to me and a great support to the girls uh, throughout the year. Uh, she managed the team, she did medic for the team um, and she was just, uh, a, just the energy and effort she put into it this year deserves great respect. Um, so thanks very much Fiona. So um, on to the awards. Uh, so we had five new players this year under 18s it's unusual to have five new players that had never played before Bevan Monique Jessica Searsha and Gabby and um, they did really well and um, I think they blended into the team really well and picked up uh, rugby skills very quickly and that's down to the team spirit and the effort of all the other girls around them I mean um, we were blessed I was very impressed with how um, the girls came together as a unit and worked really hard to present you know to come together as a team so um yeah so uh the first the first award is teammate of the year um and we had like i said because of that we had a lot of people that could have could have been in that uh, group i suppose for me rebecca ford stood out Quiva ryan stood out and uh, but in the end we gave it to avian moore and um, so congratulations to avian she was um a workhorse on the pitch did really well and um off the pitch she in you know really included everybody and stood out as a senior player and um, so congratulations Avine. Uh, the next one is most improved player uh, that's a real challenge especially when you have five new players coming in but a lot of the, the girls that have played before because we hadn't fielded the previous year they really improved quite quickly when they got back onto the pitch um, and I think Gemma Faulkner epitomized that she really improved this year but a new girl that uh, ended up being and got a few votes for player of the year but um, uh, we've given her this award as most improved is Saoirse Cunningham so congratulations Saoirse you absolutely stood out I mean the way you um, trained and played uh, was really really impressive and you can tell that by you know your your own uh, colleagues on the team voting you for player of the year as well so uh, congratulations you get a most improved player and the last one, the big award I suppose of the night is Player of the Year. Um, voted for by uh, the players themselves. There was lots of votes came in. It was a big spread and that's uh, probably down to uh, uh, the quality of player we had and, and how they they played together in the team. So the girls kind of, um, there was a yeah a good spread of players that were put in and voted for. Uh, Quiva Ryan, Avian Moore again, Eliza, Searsha all uh, all got votes but in the end I think it it was only fair there's one player that stood out uh, throughout the year and that's Gemma Faulkner her work ethic on the pitch and she's quiet but deadly dangerous when it came to tackling and uh, she was just really impressive throughout so congratulations Gemma player of the year so look girls I hope to see you all again in September uh, I hope the COVID thing doesn't uh, keep you down too much and uh, we'll see you all soon. Well guys, again, strange times, but we're delighted to be here and able to do something. Um, first of all, I'd like to express thanks to quite a few people, so I'll keep it brief. To all the parents, I appreciate, I've been there, I've done it myself, I know the effort you put in, even just bringing the, the lads down here and I a night for a, a, a training session and cleaning the car on the way home sometimes. Um, absolute credit to all of you and credit to the kids for the way you've brought them and the way they've played here over the year. Delighted to have them and please God we'll see you all again next year. Our CCRO Claire, she's done huge work and a huge kudos to her, great thanks. Mick and Damien for their efforts here in the shop every Saturday and without them the club wouldn't function. Pat Carton, who most people don't see, Pat is there organising the, the games every week. 
Carmel, our club welfare officer, again, you don't see Carmel much, but without her, the club just wouldn't be able to perform. Our coaches and mentors for all the squads, thanks very much to all of you and the amount of effort you put in. Our referees, the games just wouldn't exist if the referees weren't here, be they um, appointed referees, affiliate referees, and even coaches that step in when they're needed. Thank you very much for all your help over the year. Um, our general committee, the club wouldn't exist without the general committee and all the hard work they put in. Our sponsors, again, we wouldn't exist if we didn't have finance behind it, so to the sponsors, thanks very much. Most importantly, to our players, thank you very much, boys and girls, absolute wonderful to have you here, delighted to be able to be part of your experience through Mullingar Rugby Club. And last but not least, um, there's one award that hasn't been given out yet, and it falls upon me as you coordinator to give it out. Our overall player of the year this year is going, there have been many people who could have been put forward for and were put forward for it, but the decision of the, the coaches and myself is that the overall player of the year this year is Conor Gibney. Thank you very much.